Hey there, super moms. Are you ready to discover how to manage your stress and overwhelm in an instant? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Happiness for Moms, where we're about to dive into the secrets of finding clarity and calm in the chaos of motherhood. I'm Em, a working mum of two, and I know how stressful it can be to juggle being a mum and managing work. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one simple idea from Eckhart Tolle's book, A New Earth, Awakening Your Life's Purpose, that will change how you go about life. I say simple, but for many, it's not easy. But trust me, with practice, you will see how you can help yourself feel happier, calmer, and in more control just from this one simple idea. So grab a cup of coffee, find a cozy spot, and let's get started. Your well-deserved peace and happiness awaits. In this video, I'm diving into the transformative wisdom of Eckhart Tolle's A New Earth to discover how you can find inspiration and bring more peace into your life, especially during those challenging mum moments. This book was such a big hit, it even made it in Oprah's book club. Now, Eckhart Tolle, he teaches us that the key to finding inspiration and calm lies in the present moment. If you want to be happy, de-stress, be calm and feel grateful, you need to come to the present moment. That's it. Mums, we often get caught up in the whirlwind of daily tasks and worries. Well, when we learn to be present, we can tap into a source of inner peace that helps us navigate the challenges of motherhood with greater clarity. In A New Earth, Tolle emphasizes the importance of stillness. Mums, finding moments of stillness in every day is like a mini vacation for your soul. So how can you bring yourself back to the present moment? Well, it could be as simple as a few minutes of meditation, enjoying a cup of tea, or simply sitting in silence. These moments of stillness can be your sanctuary and it's available to you immediately. You don't have to go anywhere or do anything. But the one condition is that you have to be mindful and not distracted. If you haven't already read the book, check out my affiliate link in the description where you can grab a copy. As an Amazon associate, I earn a small commission from qualified purchases. This book really helped me shift my perspective to thinking beyond myself. When you see that you have a greater purpose, you don't feel so overwhelmed by the trivial things. Let me give you a quick summary of this book to help you decide if this book is right for you. So stick around because later I will share with you five practical tips that you can apply today to take control of your life and be a happier mom. So A New Earth is a spiritual self-help book and was published in 2005 and is a follow-up to Tolle's earlier work, The Power of Now. If you haven't read that book, you must read it. This was the first book that gave me real insight into the power of being present and being happy. There is also my affiliate link in the description where you can grab a copy of that book too. So here is a summary of the key teachings and concepts from A New Earth. Number one, ego and identity. Tolle explores the concept of the ego, which he describes as the false sense of self that we often identify with. He argues that the ego creates a sense of separateness and leads to suffering and conflict. So if you can stop yourself identifying with the ego, you can feel happier and reduce your stress. Number two, the pain body. Tolle introduces the idea of the pain body, which is a reservoir of accumulated emotional pain from past experiences. It can be triggered in the present and cause emotional reactions and suffering. When you see that the pain body is not who you really are, you can stop identifying with the negative emotions and start creating feelings that give you more control in your life. Number three, the present moment, which is what this overall concept is all about. Tolle emphasizes the importance of living in the present moment. He argues that the present is all we have and that dwelling on the past or worrying about the future prevents us from experiencing true happiness and fulfillment. And the amazing news is that you can tap into that right now. 
Number four, the ego's control. The book explores how the ego controls our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. It constantly seeks to enhance itself through material possessions, status in comparison to others. So if you find yourself feeling unhappy because you don't have that position or that house or that relationship, then you need to uncover the deep root cause of your unhappiness. Because even if you achieve all of those things, you won't be happy in the long run. Number five, identification and attachment. Tolle discusses how our attachment to material possessions, roles and labels leads to suffering. We become identified with these external factors and lose touch with our true essence. The danger in being attached to these things is that we are empowering something external to determine our happiness. We need to gain back control of our own happiness. Number six, the pain of unconsciousness. Tolle suggests that much of the suffering in the world is a result of human unconsciousness. He encourages readers to become more aware of their thoughts and actions to break free from this cycle. If everyone did their bit, the world would be a much better place. We don't need to change others. We just need to change how we see things. Number seven, egoic patterns. How do you recognize when you are in an ego state? It usually shows up as complaining, blaming, or resentment. Tolle provides guidance on how to recognize this state and how you can transcend from these patterns. This book concludes with the idea that living in alignment with life's flow and purpose is the key to lasting happiness and inner peace. Tolle encourages readers to embrace their true selves and contribute positively to the world. So A New Earth is a guide to spiritual awakening and personal transformation. It offers practical insights and exercises to help you break free from the grip of the ego live more fully in the present moment and discover your life's purpose. As a stressed out mom, I know that you will find so much value in reading this book. Tolle's teachings have resonated with so many mums seeking a deeper understanding of themselves and a more fulfilling life. Eckhart Tolle offers a number of practical tips to help readers be present and find happiness. Here are the top five. Number one, Practice mindfulness. Tolle emphasizes the importance of being fully present in the moment. Mindfulness involves paying full attention to what you're doing, whether it's a simple task like washing dishes or walking in nature. By being fully present, you can break free from the constant chatter of the mind and experience a deeper sense of peace and contentment. Number two, observe your thoughts. Tolle encourages readers to become observers of their thoughts rather than being completely identified with them. When negative or stressful thoughts arise, observe them without judgment. This practice helps you distance yourself from the egoic mind and reduces its power over your emotions. Number three, accept the present moment. Acceptance of the present moment, regardless of its circumstances, is a central theme in Tolle's teachings. He suggests that resisting or fighting against what is happening in the present only leads to suffering. Instead, practice acceptance and surrender to what is. This doesn't mean that you can't take action to improve your situation, but it means you accept the present as it is first. Number four. Cultivate stillness. Tolle recommends finding moments of stillness and silence in your daily life. This can be achieved through meditation, deep breathing, or simply taking a few moments to pause and connect with your inner being. Stillness allows you to access a deeper sense of peace and clarity. And number five, detach from egoic identification. Recognize when the ego is driving your thoughts and behaviors. Tolle suggests asking yourself, is this thought or action coming from a place of ego? When you identify ego-driven patterns, you can consciously choose to detach from them and respond from a place of presence and awareness instead. These practical tips from A New Earth are designed to help you shift your awareness from ego-driven identification to a state of presence and mindfulness. 
By incorporating these practices into your daily life, you can experience greater happiness, inner peace, and a deeper sense of purpose. Tolle teaches us that acceptance is the path to peace. Mums, it's okay to not be perfect. Embrace your imperfections, and in doing so, you'll find the inspiration to grow and learn. By accepting ourselves and our circumstances, we can cultivate a sense of calm and clarity that positively impacts our lives and the lives of our loved ones. As we wrap up today's journey into Tolle's wisdom from a new earth, I want to remind you, dear mums, that inspiration and peace is within your reach by being present, embracing stillness, and letting go of identification, you can find the clarity and calm that you deserve. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your fellow mums who might need a dose of inspiration and tranquility. Remember, you've got this. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.